Hi everyone, welcome to this video. In this video, we will be covering AWS Application Load Balancer or we can call it ALB. So we'll be seeing some theoretical part related to ALB like what ALB is, what are target groups, what are listeners and then we'll go to the AWS console and we'll create one ALB target group and we'll see how it works. So let's start this video. So what is Application Load Balancer? So basically if we talk in general about load balancer, the main purpose of load balancer is to distribute traffic evenly or based on some, some algorithm. So here application load balancer is doing the same function. So it distributes incoming traffic across multiple targets such as EC2 instances in multiple AZs. So you can distribute traffic to EC2 instances that are created in different AZs and the logic or the rationale behind this is that this will increase the availability of your application suppose one of the az is down then the traffic will be routed to other az and you will be having application available so you can have one or more listeners to your alb so basically i'll be covering what listeners are in coming slide but you can add one or more listeners as per your requirement so alb supports or you can work with different services along with ALB and that will increase the availability and scalability of your application such as EC2, Auto Scaling, Certificate Manager, CloudWatch, Route 53. You can use all these services along with ALB such as like you can use CloudWatch for monitoring. You can create certificates on certifi via Certificate Manager and add those certificates on the ALB. You can have create some hosted zone in route 53 and create some a record that talk to ALB. So you can use all these services along with ALB to increase the availability. So what are listeners? Basically listener checks for connection requests from client. You can configure protocol and port on the listener and it uses those while requesting or accepting the connection request. You can create multiple rules for a listener and that determine how the load balancer routes request to its target registered target. Each rule consists of a priority, one or more actions and one or more conditions. So when the conditions are met, then the defined actions is performed. You must define a default rule for each listener and optionally you can define additional rule. So this is a listener. So we'll I'll show you while creating a listener like you can configure all these things. Next is target group because this is a very important component of ALB. So each target group routes request to one or more register target. Basically a target group is a collection of targets and targets can be instances, IP, Lambda function, etc. So you create a target group and you add some instances as per your requirement. You define some port and protocol for a target group to work. You can register a same target with multiple target group. So you suppose you have a EC2 instance and you can register that particular EC2 instance with two target group or more than that, but it will be having a application running on different port. You can configure health checks on a per target group basis. So whenever you configure some health checks, those are performed on all the register target inside the target group. So coming to this point, you can register a target with multiple target groups. So that means suppose you have two applications running on two different ports inside the EC2 instances. So you can register that inside two different target groups. So this is some of the ALB features or uh, including some, some points related to listener rules and all. So I'll qu quickly cover this. So you can configure rules for your listener that forward request based on URL in the request. You can forward request based on host field in the HTTP header. You, you can route request based on the HTTP header conditions and met methods you or query parameters or source IP. You can use this for routing. You can route request to multiple application on a single EC2. You can register instance or IP with multiple target group on a different port. You can add a custom HTTP response that ALB can return you can register lambda function as target as well. So these are some very quick theoretical part regarding ALB. So before moving to demo, uh, if you like this content, then please do subscribe this channel and like this video. That will definitely encourage me 
in making such more videos thank you so let's go to the demo now so here is the AWS console and currently I'm in the EC2 dashboard so if I just scroll down here you can see load balancing under load balancing there is a field called tar uh, load balancers so here you can create the load balancers here you can create the target groups so first in order to create these before I'll create some EC2 instances so I'll show you the VPC so I have created one custom VPC because we need to have minimum of two AZ while creating TLB so I have created two subnets in my VPC so this is these are my two public subnet and each belong to different AZ this is US East 1A and 1F so next I'll do I'll create two instances one in each AZ so I'll name it my one and next I'll choose the default AMI instance type I'll select some key pair but although it's not required network settings I'll select my custom VPC I'll select my public subnet 1 I'll attach one public IP because in this demo I'll be creating some web page uh, that will be accessed on port 80 so I'll add a listener rule for port 80 as well so that our security group allows the connection so this is all done next one important thing I am going to do that I'll configure my instance using the user data so I'll add some user data here so when this instance will be launched it will configure that so this is a very small script basically we are installing httpd service starting it and we are adding the host name to the index.html file so when I launch this instance this will be configured by default so I'll create one more instance in the other AZ same configuration the only difference this time will be I'll select different subnet I'll add the security group rule here as well then I'll add the user data so there is a detailed video that I have already created on user data I'll attach the link you can go through that video and you will understand what user data is and how, and how it works so I'll launch this instance one came in the running state and other in pending so let's wait for both the instances to get ready so my instances are up and running now so I'll quickly set a filter so my instances are running okay so next I'll go ahead and create the ALB create ALB I'll be creating application load balancer I'll name it my session ALB so you can create interfa internet facing ALB or internal ALB so I'll be creating internet facing because I'll be accessing this application from outside network mapping I need to select my VPC here so you need to have at least two AZ one subnet per zone so I have one subnet in each AZ that I'll be selecting so this is my public subnet 2 and I'll select public subnet 1 from here so you need to have at least two AZ and one subnet per zone security group I'll keep it as default so this is the listener 
so here what I am configuring that I am creating a listener that listens on port 80 and it will route the request to the target group so currently I do not have any target group so I can go ahead and create a target group so basically you can add targets such as instances IP addresses lambda functions or ALB also but this offers the flexibility for a load balancer network NLB to accept and route the traffic so you can have different targets here so I'll name my session TG I'll name it so similarly we have to define some protocol and port at the target group level same I'll define custom VPC I'll select health checks because I'll be accessing index.html page so I'll add that here rest everything I'll keep as default so when we define the VPC while creating target group target group so it it is able to identify my running instances so I'll add both my instances here and these instances will be listening on port 80 so I'll include that in the target group so currently you can see I have added it so I'll create a target group now so if I just open this target group you can see I have two targets healthy instance 0 unhealthy also 0 and the reason is that currently we do not have this target group associated with any ALB so that is why these instances are unused and the health status is reflecting unused so what I will do next I will go ahead to my ALB console so I will just do a quick refresh and I can select my target group next I will keep everything same and I will go ahead and create my load balancer so as soon as I created my load balancer I'll just check the details this is my load balancer it is currently in the provisioning state so if I just go to my target group and refresh here so you can see the status changed from unused to initial so right now AWS is trying to analyze the health of my target if these are healthy then those will be accessible else those will be marked as unhealthy so let's wait for these status to finalize like what whether these are healthy instances or unhealthy instances so now the status is changed to healthy so both my instances are healthy because they are listening on port 80 and if I just go to ALB and the status is also active now so I can try to access the application I can take this DNS name And I can just try to access this because in the user data we have added the host name to be visible I'll just show you my EC2 instance so if you see private IP this is the private IP of my instance 2 that is coming as output and if you refresh it some more time you should get uh, another IP see 109 so this is the IP of my another instance so lo lo load balancer is forwarding traffic to both the instances okay and now coming to load balancer some important points so we discuss theoretically what listeners are rules are so here we created only one listener that is listening on port 80 so if I just go to this listener and here we have only the default rule so you can add more rules here So we discussed that you can add rules based on some conditions see you can se select any condition like you can based on like host header path source IP you can select any condition and you can configure your rules inside the listener suppose I selected this just for demonstration purposes I selected inbox the path is this then what action I need to take 
so I can define a action here I can select another target group that matches the condition so if the condition is met then I can forward the request to another target group so this I can do from the ALB and listeners and rules so that's how we configure ALB target group everything so that's all for this video and if you like this content then please do subscribe this channel and like this video thanks a lot for watching